Okay, three and a half thousand mile trip. Cleveland, Tulsa, Shreveport. I'm back here to Maryland. See my buddy Trey. And I got to take your boat, which is really the prototype, yep. to all sorts of new water and, and make some cool videos and really kind of start to bond with it. But I can't bond with it too long because this, this one's yours. Yeah, I need it back. Well, I need mine. <laughs> so we're going to take this off and uh, we're going to bring it in. And, and you got some packages. Yeah. yeah. You got the first 20 inflatables in. Uh, we just need to do all the final touches as far as uh, seat mount, um, foot controls, the motor mount, everything. Get all of that, the, the final touches done to all that stuff so we can get those made. And uh, as soon as we have everything finalized and get ready to start production on that, then we can put them up for pre-order and uh, hope to get them up real soon. Cool. So. Let's get this one off and then we're going to take a look at, uh, you know, at the first batch. Yep. So the landing gear was a nice touch. I mean, it's, it's already fairly lightweight, but for sure being able to move it around with the landing gear was super nice. So I've stripped off all the Jeff parts and it can go back to being a tray boat and part of that Trey has his has it already back up into the high seat but I had it down in the low seat so customizable is important I didn't like the throttle there because my elbow kept bumping it in the low seat I think it's perfect you know in that position in the high seat so I'll have mine down lower. I don't know, I mean, this is, it's, it's really what you get when you have a boat that has track everywhere. You can, it's a blank canvas. So let's go look at the other canvases and we'll build one out. So this is how they, they come and Trey can come around the corner and show a pile of them. So we got 20 here. Let's blow this one up, man. I think we're a little bit wider, it looks like, than the last prototype. It's certainly double, double thickness all the way around. It's got your logo on there, big. Switch yep. pads everywhere. Let's get it blown up, That's man. Good. So you're setting that to 11 and a half psi okay it's a it's a rechargeable battery operated pump and this thing is great um you set the the psi to what you want it to be you turn it on and when it reaches that it automatically shuts off Not really knowing how else to do this, although you did, you you measured, you weighed that one with the bathroom scale, and I, or not the bathroom scale, the your deer, deer scale, scale. Yep. and now we can't find it, so we're using right. the bathroom scale. That one with the with some parts of it, totally an incomplete or or whatever. It was 84 pounds, but let's just get the whole weight. So we're gonna get my weight. So. 228.8, right? And then we're gonna get my weight plus this, so you can do the math. So 228.8, and now I'm looking at, it won't stop, 277.4. Yeah, it already it already went off. Forty eight point six pounds. Okay, so we're we're sub fifty pound with the hull, but then you're going to be fitting it out with 
With the track. With the track. And that will be something else. But a 50 pound hull is a, is a good starting point. Yeah. Especially with as heavy as it is and the double layers. and Yeah. So this is the, the critical area. And this is, you know, to, to be double layered. And this is why we, you know, recommend having your seat somewhere up near. Well, it's kind of centered on this the center handle here. When you're bringing fish in, it's it's fish fins in this area that can do little tiny little punctures. It's crazy. The hooks won't do it. Like we proved that with Jake. I had Jake, you know, take a brand new crankbait that I gave him and just beat right. the snot out of the uh, the star rival fish. And and you're not getting hooks in this. But fish fins, tiny little leaks, like a big small mouth will will put just his you know. His dorsal fin can poke that, and it's a it's a quick fix with the uh, with the aqua seal. All right. right. Show us what comes with with this. I mean, beyond the the frame, but you know, we get one one like, part. Go ahead. So for the pulp, and that and it's a that's a gauge, right? Yeah, the gauge is on top. So not as not as fancy. As your setup, but it gets the job done because it shows the, the PSI on there. So you can get the, you know, you're conservative. I said 12 on that. I think I'm not going to say what I think they go up to, but 3, 3, and 12. Yep. Um, comes with fabric to repair and a repair kit that you can take along with you. And it's got the wrench for the valve. Uh, and a little bit more of the material in there. The only thing it doesn't come with is the glue. Um, in the shop, I use the HH66, and Jeff, I've never used Aqua Seal, but Jeff says the Aqua Seal works really well. It's a slow set. Right. Like you need overnight and into the next day for yeah. it to really firm up, but it's it's really good for those tiny little yeah. pinhole ones. Whereas this is about 10 minutes in the right temperature. I know I've used this in the shop when it was cooler in here and it takes a little bit longer, but I mean, at 65, 70 degrees, this stuff sets up really quick. So, okay. um, but yeah, it doesn't come with the glue, but it comes with the, the patch material, um, the wrench, the pump, uh, and basically everything you need to get started. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, and then we've, we're going to figure out the, all the logistics of the framework and, uh, yeah. We're excited to get these things put together and get them in people's hands because everybody so far that's used it has loved it. Uh, I know you met up with somebody. I actually got got an email from a guy. Actually, I think it was a Facebook message from a guy who had tried it out, and he was ecstatic. I put as many people as I could in it. Yeah, I'm excited about I think it. he was on a pond or something. He was oh, talking. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That, that video is coming out later. Okay. Yep. It's an Oklahoma farm pond. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so he was it's, pretty excited it's about it. So William Vest. But yeah, yeah, he wants one. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's going to be the thing for these first 20 is um, once you get them up for pre-sale, you know, I think people are going to, you know, snatch them up. Yeah. And, you know, however you do the pre-sale for it, I would just let people know ahead of time they're going to go faster than, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I have a I have a running list of, of people who have contacted me and wanted to get on an email list. So I have a running list of people who are interested. Um, but uh, yeah, we're excited to get them out there. The biggest thing is we want to make sure before we give any kind of a timeline of a release for pre-sale, we want to make sure that we're not telling someone or telling everybody, hey, we're ready to have them out in three weeks. We're going to start now. We want to be sure before we start giving a timeline like that. Um, I don't want to give a false timeline is the main thing. So cool. Well, this is a good, good. Uh, it's just good to see these here, and and uh, I'll be. You're, you're going to build my frame out. Yep. And get it rigged up, and I'll be be using it here in the next couple weeks. Cool.